first and only man for many years. And he loved that. I kept cheating on my husband over and over and over again. And I wouldn't feel bad about it. I had no idea why. Was it my daddy issues? I tried to spice up the relationship. I would text him nudes. I would text him what I wanted to do to him. Okay? But he never gave me the same energy. What? He would text me, what are you doing? This is not you. When you go out, is this- I would've put that wood on her. Straight up, she talking about some missionary. What? I would've had her hanging off the chandeliers from the back, flip to the side. Him and I only slept with each other once. But I had to feel that again. I had to find someone else to fulfill that feeling. And I did. He told me that he could forgive me, that we just needed to go to therapy. But I told him that there was some- Pull up on your thoughts, she gone, I'ma call it girl still. Then she give me top and not and call it girl still. But I'm still- We still hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Let's get right into it. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Lego. I cheated on my husband over and over and over again, and I don't regret it. Get ready with me for this anonymous story time. I met my husband when we were in high school. We were high school sweethearts. At that time, I used to go to church. I was raised Christian, and I always used to sing at church. And I think that's one of the reasons why he fell in love with me. Because I was a good girl. You gotta be careful. We gotta be careful, fellas. He was my first and only man for many years. And he loved that. He ate that shit up. Just the thought of him being the only one to touch my body and be with me and make me feel the way he would make me feel was an idea that he couldn't let go of. And I get it. Imagine being your partner's only one. I would love that too. I would love that too. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I had a situation like that. Because listen, ladies, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I had a situation like that. I was with a girl 10 years. She went off, did something with another guy, you know, try to come back. But it's like, it's not the same no more. Somebody else done touched you. It's like, it's just not the same no more. You know? So like, I feel them. I like that too. I think mo most men are like that, unless you're just like a cuck and don't mind somebody else touching your girl. You feel me? Anyone? That's a dream from heaven. The problem was that when you're raised to walk and talk a certain way and be conservative and be a good girl, you crave other things. For many years, I suppressed the feelings of wanting more of the desires that I had. When you're not allowed to go out, to club, to drink, that's the only thing you can think of. I wanted to dance. I wanted to experiment different partners, multiple partners. However, I did love him. Can't turn a hoe into a housewife, bro. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. This lady just said I was married, I was with this only man, but I wanted some more cock. They don't make them like grandma and moms no more. That's crazy. And that's what stopped me. For many years. She want to go out and be in the streets. I tried to spice up the relationship. I would text him nudes. I would text him what I wanted to do to him. Okay. But he never gave me the same energy. What? Telling me you want me to do me? Man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm the type of dude, I need stuff like that. As soon as you tell, hey look, as soon as we on the phone and you telling me what you want to do to me, oh, I'm getting hard right then and there. I'm one of them types. You feel me? I like that. Instead, he would text me, what are you doing? This is not you. When you go out, is this how you act? Oh, I see why she, why she did that to him, damn. And honestly, I was looking for something more than the missionary position. We had many fights because I wanted to go out and he didn't. He didn't even want to go out with me, dance with me. 
two things with me that I wanted to do with him. After many years of suppressing my feelings, something happened that gave me a way out. He was taking a shower and he had left his phone on the coffee table and I decided to go through it. And what I found was that he was liking these skinky girls' pictures. He was liking girls that were half naked. And I was like, what? I mean, we... I don't know what's up with dude. I kind of see, man, I would have put that wood on her. Straight up. She talking about some missionary. What? I would have had her hanging off the chandeliers from the back, flipped to the side. Got them doggy, got them frog legs in her. You feel me? I would have been doing all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I get nasty when it comes to that type of shit. But he texting back, oh, what? yeah, I kind of see why she did him like that. But it's no excuse, but I kind of see why she did him like that. But you liking skating girl pictures, but shit. I don't want you to be looking like a hoe outside and displaying it, my girl. But, yeah, talk nasty to me. Put them outfits on. I'm going to put them outfits on. Like, when we when we getting it in, put them outfits on. Put something nasty on for me. I like that. Be a schoolgirl. Be a nurse one day. Yeah! I'm over here trying to be a good girl for you to be liking skanky bitches. I can be one, too. Does it feel like I wasted my time? Hiding who I really am inside. And it snapped something in me. Is that 69 on her hand? I would have had her in a 69. But I don't eat no pussy like that, so I couldn't have had her in 69, but, you know. I didn't understand why it was so difficult for him to give me what I wanted. That was it. I wasn't going to wait anymore to get what I wanted. I didn't want to die with any regrets. He had a friend that would look at me with these eyes. That would follow me at parties. That would touch my skin and make me feel like I've never felt before. He's the one I wanted to try. I fantasized with him for so many years. And I had enough. One day, we were at a party. And I said, this is the perfect opportunity. Because at this party, the bathroom had two doors. One to enter the bathroom and one to go to the bedroom. So I said, tonight's the night. Since you always followed me around, it was a perfect plan. I was also drunk, guys. So... Don't judge me. Nah. Bitch, that ain't no excuse. Hell nah. You wanted to do this like you just said. You wanted to do it. You wanted to be hanging off the chandelier. Ray would have had you hanging off the motherfucking chandelier. I promise you I would have had her. All type of ways. Legs up. Get on the bed. Put one leg up. My, I put my leg up with your leg. What? I got up. And I went to the restroom. And I went to the And I had my compact mirror to see when he was coming. <laughs> when I saw that he was coming, I entered the bathroom. I knew he was waiting for me. So it was just very easy to open the door and pull him in. I told him, I know what you want. I want the same thing. And then I said, no one's going to ever find out. And I kissed him. Don't kiss me. I don't do that kissing shit, straight up. Don't be kissing all on me, you know what I'm saying? It's funny, you know? Like, <laughs> yo, it's funny. I'm so funny. It's kind of like the same thing, but like, I don't want a bitch kissing me, but I'll let her. He kissed me back, and it was the best kiss I ever experienced in my life. I completely enjoyed the moment. It was something I never experienced. However... I was dumb. I didn't use protection. Neither of us were prepared because we never thought this would happen. Him betray his friend, me betray my husband. It was not enough in the cards for us. But the worst part was that we both felt something strong when we kissed, when we made love. After this, I couldn't stop. 
The feeling of doing something I wasn't supposed to do was something that I never felt. It would calm me. It would make me just fantasize of the night. Him and I only slept with each other once. But I had to feel that again. I had to find someone else to fulfill that feeling. And I did. I kept cheating on my husband over and over and over again. And I wouldn't feel bad about it. I had no idea why. Was it my daddy issues? I didn't understand what was it that called me to be this type of person. What do y'all think it is, fellas? I think it do... No, because some of these girls be having their daddies in their life and they still be want to be hoes and be in the streets. Most of them. It's less likely, though. It's less likely, for sure. Every time I cheated, it just became easier and easier. My husband never found out. But I'm sure he always wondered, where did I get these new moves from? <laughs> Sometimes I think if I should come clean or just wait till I get caught. I don't know what I should do, guys. I don't think it's normal for me to be acting this way. I have seek therapy to find out why I like the feeling of doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. Sometimes I feel like I wouldn't care if he found out. Sometimes I wish he did find out. I became a pro with the cheating. I downloaded an app called Text Free where I would hide my text messages. It was many years that I was doing this. I would download the app when he was gone and I would remove it when he would get home. And one day, I forgot to remove the app. He saw everything. He confronted me and I couldn't even look him in the eyes. He told me that he could forgive me, that we just needed to go to therapy. But I told him that there was something really fucked up in me to hurt someone that has just been a great man to me. And I didn't want to waste any more of his years trying to make this relationship work when it wasn't working. He understood and we separated. I hope you guys enjoyed this anonymous story time. Bye. This girl is a smut. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, she had a good thing going. Her husband sound like a nerd, right? He wasn't putting that wood on her. I would have put that motherfucker wood on her. I ain't you ain't talking about no going out and all this. But some girls, bro, you just gotta let them fall. Where they stay, it's land. What is it? What I be saying? Fall where they land. That's what I say. You gotta let them fall where they land. You gotta let them fall on their face, bro. You got to. Bitch wanna go out there and be in the streets, let her go out there and be in the streets. You feel me? Like shit, bruh. That ain't that ain't what you thought it was. Obviously. Obviously that ain't what you thought it was. You feel me? I had to learn this the hallway. Motherfucker wanna go out and be in the streets, boom, fall on your face. Look stupid. Then you try to come back. No, hell no. But this girl right here, she a savage. She did it with his friend and all that. She a savage. She a savage. You feel me? She be they thirst that toxic behavior. She like doing stuff she know she ain't supposed to be doing. We heard it, bruh. But my boy, man, you should have been putting that wood on her, man. I would have been doing all type of shit. You feel me? All type of shit. I'm, boy, I get nasty in the motherfucking bedroom. I get disgusting. I'm trying to tell you. You feel me? I just don't eat no pussy. I just don't eat no pussy. You ain't playing with my, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not playing with yo. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, hell no. Nah. I don't play those type of games. But everything else... I ain't sucking no toes and nothing like that, but you feel me? Like, when it comes to positions and all of that, oh, you getting in all the positions, goddamn. You feel? But, uh, but yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife, bro. Straight up. Uh, this girl was wrong, and she broke up with him. He talking about some, we can work it out. We can go through therapy. This up. What? But nah, hell nah. We ain't going through a goddamn thing. You feel me? You can get keep you can keep getting smutted out by me if you want to. But that's all it's about to be. You feel me? Straight up. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Definitely can't turn a hoe into a housewife, bro. This is crazy. She a nasty, low down, dirty, disgusting. Ugh. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation, man. We still hustle daily. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow my main channel, We Hustle Daily. I appreciate y'all love. All right, Hustle Nation, I'm happy to announce for those of you who are ready to start flipping cars, I can get you auction access within 24 to 48 hours. If you're ready to stop sitting on the sideline and you're ready to start flipping cars, head on over to whdacademy.com and pick the platinum package. And for as low as $600, a one-time fee, you guys can have auction access to Copart and the insurance auto auction as a dealer representative under someone else's license. This allows you to go to any Copart or any insurance auto auction in the United States. And essentially, you can start flipping cars within 24 to 48 hours. Don't worry, for those of you who want to attend dealer auctions like Mannheim and Odessa dealer only auctions, I have something for you guys too. I can get you access to those auctions within 24 to 48 hours as well. Remember, the good thing about this service is that you're not putting the cars in your name when you resell them, meaning you can sell the cars under someone else's license without having to register them. For those of you who are not ready to start flipping cars and you just want to learn about the business, I also have a silver package and a bronze package available for you guys. Why I teach you everything you need to know about this auction business. If this sounds like something you're interested in, head on over to whdacademy.com.